Chapter 4 Gabriella and I staggered back. The big snake snapped out of our hands. I hit the floor and wriggled out of the curtain and toward the curtain. I grabbed my wrist and raised it on my face. Oh! I saw two round red fang marks in the skin. I suddenly felt dizzy. I spun around, searching for the winner. For a winner. What kind of a game is this? I cried. The snake. It bit me. Is it poisonous? Is it? No sign of him. I studied my wrist again. Hey, wait. The fang, the fang marks had vanished, completely disappeared. Was the snake some kind of fake? Was it all just a trick? Let's get out of here, I summered. Gabriel and I turned. Uh, Winter stood behind us in the doorway. He had a pleased grin under his mustache. He strode quickly towards us. I pointed back at the snake. How did you do that? I cried. Who was pulling the rope? Gabriella asked. How did it change into a snake? Is it really alive? We bombarded him with questions. What are monitored with both hands to us to stop? You just have to know how to play the game, he said. So sorry you couldn't win. But how... Oh, could we win? I cried. Where are our opponents are invisible, and the rope turned into a huge snake. Winter's eyes narrowed at me. Are you saying it, it wasn't a fair game? I didn't say that. I replied. It was just that, so we wouldn't, so we don't win anything. Gabriella said. Every player is a winner. He explained, every winner is a player, every loser is a winner, and every prize is a prize worth winning. He's crazy, I whispered. So does that mean that we don't win a prize? Gabriel was not ready to give up. Winner reached into the back pocket of his checkerboard vest. He, I have a complimentary prize for you. He said. He pulled out a small square of paper, and handed it towards me. I unfolded it and read back of the words against the background. It said, "One hundred discount coupon. Any uh, uh, any item at Chiller House." Game over. Winner said. He made a shooting mention towards the tunnel opening. Three strikes and you're out. He stepped. Um, he stepped towards front of me, and brought his face towards mine. Unless you wanna. Uh, you'd like a sudden death over time. I backed away. Sudden death? Uh, no. Some things. Guess Gabriel and I will. I will go now. We started. Uh, we started to the tunnel. I glanced back and saw Winter lift a big snake from the floor. He began to coil up around his hand. Was it a rope again? Was the whole thing some kind of a magic trick? Gabriella took my hand. Come on, let's get out of here. We beat through the twisting coal tunnel. There was a steep climb coming from the direction. We made it, we were out of breath by the time we stepped through the, the little black door and back into the park. We have walked along the brick wall. The playpen game booths were crowded all, uh, as over. What do you think want us to play next? Gabriela asked to think she was joking. That's enough money for now, I said. I turned back towards the tunnel. Hey, look! I grabbed Gabriella by the shoulders and turned her around. What is your problem? She snapped. The black door, I said. Look, it's gone! We ran back to the wall. There was uh, the door. Where is the door had it stood in my hand along with it? Solid brick. A tall horror and a black orange monster in a police uniform came standing past us. His orange cape fluttered around him. Gabriella grasped his arm. Can you help us? She asked. The horror had tilted his black, uh, his back, his, his black cap. He had small curved horns poking from his head. What's up? He growled. Well, Gabriella began. 
we just are back there with the game mom master, but he rubbed his foot on one of his fingers. Who? You know, Gabriella said. With her take a towel, take a towel, the game master, the, the horror burst out laughing. With her take it off, not funny, that's funny. Not really, Gabriella insisted. The tall horror squinted toward, down her. Someone it was playing a joke on you, he growled. There's no game master at Horrorland.